Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another exciting and riveting episode of Quarantine Time with Celeste. This is episode number 91 for June 22nd, 2020, and it is a Monday. And you may have noticed that I am not wearing clothes. <laughs> I'm actually wearing a bathing suit because I'm going to go swimming today because I've been waiting for the community pool to open, and today is going to be the first day that it is open, and so I'm really excited. So, because back last Christmas, I went and got myself and Renee everything we needed to go swimming. Like we got bathing suits. I got swim pants, like they're leggings, but they're for swimming. I got a UV protective shirt that I wear over my bathing suit. I got a swim cap. I got like these HD swim goggles, all this stuff with the intent of like hardcore swimming and losing the weight because that's my favorite kind of exercise that I can do. And then COVID happened and swimming was out of the question. And some of you may be saying, but you live at the beach. It is too freaking cold to get into that ocean. There is no way that is happening. So as you can see today, I just have a headscarf on, no wig. And uh, yeah, I still have to be a little bit accessorized. I, these things do come off before I go on the, in the pool though. <laughs> but all the, the makeup, the very minimal wake makeup that I'm wearing, which is really just eyeliner and UV protective foundation and all stay all day lipstick is all waterproof. So there we go. So anyway. Let's get back to the tea time. So today I'm having Asian Pear Harmony Iced Tea. Of course it's still June, so Iced Tea Month. Mmm, I like that. That's a really nice, nice pear flavor. So, birthdays. It is Giuseppe Mazzini's birthday and he was an, uh, an activist that tried to pull together the country of Italy. He said, a country is not a mere territory. The particular territory the particular territory is only its foundation. The country is the idea which rises upon that foundation. It is the sentiment of love, the sense of fellowship which binds together all the sons of that territory. I thought that was an interesting, uh, an interesting quote to try to put into context of us. Like, it's not just about the the foundation of the country, but what is it that binds us together? Now, Chris Christofferson, he was born in 1936. Oh, by the way, Giuseppe Mazzini was born in 1805. So that was a really old quote. Chris Christofferson, he was born in 1936, quite a time later. He said, human rights is something that wasn't hard to be inspired to write about because there have been so many violations of those rights. I thought that was powerful. And absolutely, I love songs that, that address those issues. They, I think that Music can really inspire a generation, it can inspire a nation, and it can inspire love and kindness and peace and hope. Meryl Streep, one of my favorite actresses, she was born in 1949. She said, integrate what you believe in every single area of your life. Take your heart to work and ask the most and best of everybody else too. I think that's great advice. And Cindy Lauper, who does not like to share her age, so there's no reason I'm gonna put, I'm not gonna put her age down. People can save the world by the way they think and by the way they behave and what they hold to be important. So Cindy Lauper, she's always been an activist in a lot of things too, especially for LGBTQ rights. We love her. Um, and so we only have three national days, Ch National Chocolate Eclair Day. Are you trying to sabotage me? No, so kidding. I'm not really tempted by that. National HVAC Tech Day. So kudos out to you guys keeping us hot and cold. Um, and National Onion Rings Day. Again, sabotage, okay? I'm not gonna have onion rings. I'm not gonna eat onion rings. I'm not gonna eat your darn chocolate eclairs. But if you love onion rings and chocolate eclairs and you have it in you to do it, go for it and eat up those carb-filled goodies. As for me, I'm going to try to go burn some calories because I have gained the COVID-19 pounds um, and I need to lose some weight I need to swim and I need to get off my, my big rump and do something because I am just, it's been, I've been so sedentary on God's honest truth. I have been so sedentary this whole time and I need to get out and do something. So thank you guys for watching my quarantine time. I hope you enjoy this episode, although it's very kind of more brief and just kind of direct to the point. And I did insert some things about myself. But I hope you guys have a fabulous, wonderful Monday, fabulous, wonderful week. And I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow for my quarantine time episode number 92 for June 23rd. Just plugging away one day at a time. Still got to figure out what I'm going to do for this 100 episode anniversary. So it should be fun. All right, you guys have a fantastic day. Um, what are they? 
that was a popular quote that was written in on everyone's um, everyone's uh, yearbooks when I was young was have fun in the sun and get laid in the shade. <laughs>